Hi folks, Jim Game here. Welcome back to the channel. Now welcome back for more TDC 2019. Uh, the patch just dropped about half an hour ago. I've downloaded it and we're going to start off by playing this new course. The patch was about 3.7 gigabyte uh, for the PC. I did read on the forum it was over 5 gigabyte for the Xbox. I'm not sure how much it was for the, the PS4. But this is the web.com to a championship at Atlantic Beach Country Club. Okay, as you see, the fairways are firm, the greens are firm, the green speed is fast, time of day is default, weather is default, wind speed is medium, and the wind direction is coming in from the southeast. As with all RCLs, guys, I have a little bit of history of the course for use. We'll get that started as soon as we start playing. Okay, hole one, 386 yards, par four, stroke, index 11. So, nice looking first hole. Get that water tower over there. I do like the houses and that going right up the sort of side of this. Is it a river? Like a little inlet sort of thing. Oh, it's Florida, isn't it? Yeah, you get these like, these sort of big bits of water, the little houses and all that on the downside of them. What I'm going to do, I'm actually going to turn this audio down and I might put it back on yeah, around about the end of hole eight because John's a bit of a pain in the ass and I don't like listening to him. I don't mind listening to that. Look how be though. He's not too bad. Okay, so what we got? Uh, 384 yards, 13 feet up. We've got a little bit of wind, well, nine mile an hour coming in from about five o'clock. So let's just see if we can hit one to start this to a championship off. Okay, crack and strike. That's going to be right up the middle. That's going to leave us a nice little pitch, probably into the green. Probably about, I don't know, 60, 70 yards, it looks like. Okay, 68. 68 yards, five feet up. We've got a 64 with a gap wedge. I think we'll play that. You get that little skip forward as well. Okay, nice, perfect. Oh, is that going to hold up for me? Come on. Yeah, that's not too bad. Okay, so the history of this course, guys. When discussing golf in the beaches area, most will look towards Ponte Verde Beach, particularly TPC Sawgrass and the annual Players' Championship. However, Atlantic Beach has its own storied history in the world of golf. So we've got a little tap in there for a birdie. Continental Hotel introduced the first golf courses to Atlantic Beach. While there was a large 18-hole course for guests to enjoy, a more unique course lay within the grounds, mere feet away from the train station and hotel itself. So who we got here? Francis, Francesco Molinari, Sam Saunders, Brand Snedeker, Luke List, and Byung Hun, Graham McDowell, Sung Hoon Kan, oh, Dustin Johnson's in there, Eddie Pepperow, and Thorbjorn Ollison. So there's a good, a good crowd there. Okay, famed golf course designer, A.W. Tillingest, created a smaller nine-hole course called a Lilliputian Golf Course, which was a reference to the novel Gulliver's Travels by Jonathan Swift. These courses were also connected to an early Atlantic Beach country club, the Selva Marina Country Club, a project initiated by Harcourt Bull Jr. opened in 1958. Well received in the area, it featured a golf course designed by E.E. E. Smith and quickly drew grew to include tennis courts, a swimming pool, and a residential community. Okay, so we've got here hole 2, 444 yards, par 4, stroke index 1. So basically we just want to smash this one right up the middle here. That's not bad, that should be okay. Okay, Selva Marina soon became an important and internationally recognized part of the community. It's best remembered as the birthplace of the Greater Jacksonville Open in 1965. Years later, this tournament became what it is known as today as the Players' Championship. Right. Okay. Oh, that's I just got a subscriber there because I 
do my video recording on OBS, so somebody's just subscribed to my channel. <laughs> okay, 147. Uh, it's playing about 146. So I'm going to down loft this just a little touch to counteract some of that wind up. Okay, that's nice. It looks like it's pulling a little bit right though. Oh, nice little kick there. Kicked right over to the left. Okay, so a tiny little turn on this. That gives us another birdie. Okay, playing host to many golf of oh, many of golf's greatest players, included Arnold Palmer and Jack Nicholas. Uh, Selva Marina created a name for itself in golf history. The Lady Jacksonville Open was also held at the Selva Marina in 1975. Today, the new Atlantic Beach Country Club continues Atlantic Beach's golfing legacy at the site of the of old Selva Marina Country Club. In addition to the 6,815 square foot course. Redesigned by Eric Larson, Atlantic Beach Country Club currently includes a neighborhood with 178 home sites. Ah, there we go. There's the houses not here. What I should do, I should actually zoom out and count them all, should I? See, there's 178, just to see how accurate they are. <laughs> okay, so 229 yards. Oh, I'm well in between clubs here. Oh, dear. Oh, I don't like that. 235. That's going to be way too much. I'm going to go with a five hybrid. So I'm actually going to leave myself. Hopefully it actually runs up quite a bit. The greens are fast and firm. So I might actually get away with this. Oh, I could have aimed that more to the right there. Now there's a little slope there and it looks like it's turning to the right. Yep. Could have done with a little bit more on that. Okay, so 27 feet, 4 inches down. It's got a little turn left to right here. Wow, that ball lifted up. Did you see that? <clears throat> Great putt, though. Great putt. Okay, 178 home sites. Tennis courts, fitness facilities, a junior Olympic swimming pool, and a 16,000 square foot clubhouse opened in January 2015. The revitalized 18-hole course was named as one of the nation's best new golf courses by Golf Digest magazine in 2014. And the Web.com Tour Championship, part of the PGA Tour, will be held at the Atlantic Beach Country Club in fall 2017. So this is like a couple of years old, this, um, this bit of history. There was something else I read. Let me have a look, see if I can find it. Okay, what we got here? Hole 4, 387 yards, par 4, stroke index 15. Oh, it's a little bit of a pull to the right, and that wind's pushing it right as well. This might end up in the rough. Oh, kicked out nice. Oh, and it's kicked back in. So we're in the light rough here, guys. Okay, a bit of a slope left to right as well. 98, so it's actually playing 99. We're going to go with a sand wedge here with that wind as well. I think that's, that's probably going to be about bang on, I reckon. Oh, nice strike out of there. Now, is it going to hold up for me? That's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Now, where was this thing I read? I'm sure it was Jack Nicholas. Oh, there's the bloody kids starting to run around outside. Bloody annoying. Okay, nine feet, one inch down. Okay, it's another birdie. Yeah, I can't find it wherever it is. What it was anyway, it was, I'm sure it was Jack Nicholas. It was his first and only ever double eagle. Uh, an albatross in competitive play and it was actually scored at the this course I'm trying to find where I read it I can't remember where I read it now I'm sure it was on here mm, oh well ah there it is there yeah cool 
1965 tournament was won by Bert Weaver. The 1966 tournament brought the most unforgettable occurrence to have happened to our course during its history. Jack Nicholas made his first and only recurred, re- recorded double eagle of his PGA career on the 18th hole. Oddly enough, Nicholas did not win the tournament. Doug Sanders, named most colourful dresser on tour, collected that honour by making a 14-foot birdie putt <coughs> on hole 18 to beat Gay Brewer by one stroke. So there you go, guys. That's a little bit of history. Now I can start concentrating on my play. Okay, 153. It's playing 155. Got a 158 with this eight iron. I, th- I think that might be just good enough because of that wind as well. Okay, come on, need you pull round for me. Oh, it stayed pretty straight. Distance was absolutely spot on. Okay, so got a little turn here, right to left. Oh no, nope, that's not gonna make it. Pushed that out way too far to the right, that. So that's gonna leave us with a part. Okay, hole six, 562 yards, par five, stroke index seven. It's a nice looking hole, this one. Got the water there on the right hand side. Quite a lot of trees all the way up the left hand side as well. Nice, huge, big bunker heading up towards the green. So let's have a look, see where this pin is. It's right at the back, but it's going to be pretty tough to get to, I reckon. Oh, this wind is pushing everything out to the, the right here. I'm going to have to sort of just go right up the side of these trees. That should be good. It's going to be right in the middle. Now, can we reach this green in two, I wonder? I do like that big water tower there. That's pretty cool. There's, there's a water tower, I think. What's it got wrote on it? Can't really see from here. It's just a picture of a, the beach. <laughs> Pretty cool. Okay, 265. So we can reach this green. We're going to have to play over. Everything's sloping left to right. So we're going to play over to the left hand side anyway. Because that wind should push it back in for us as well. Oh, I've pushed that a little bit as well with my swing there. That should be good though, I think. Come on, keep going. Oh, it's going to leave us with quite a big putt, but we're on there for two. So, as I've always stated, guys, if you don't get the eagle, just go close to the hole and make sure you get your birdie. If it drops with eagle, it's a bonus. Okay, 28 feet, one foot up. Okay, so with hitting this, with a bit of power, it shouldn't turn too much at all. Oh, it's turning just a little bit more than I thought. Distance was absolutely spot on though. Could have done with a little bit more pace and I might have got that. But we'll take the birdie. Yeah, it's a very nice course. Quite pleased with this. Okay, Francesco Molinari, minus 8 after 15. Brant Snedeker, minus 7 after 18. And we're, what, minus 5 after 6. Okay, hole 7, 569 yards, par 5, stroke index 5. I do like them, them houses though. The road going all the way down. And they've done a good job on that as well. Can you imagine living in... Like one of them houses. What a beautiful way you wake up. Just looking out onto the golf course. Back layer, love. Just nipping out and doing nine holes. <laughs> That'd be fantastic, wouldn't it? Okay. Let's just try and smack one down here. Okay, I'm doing not bad with the, um, the tempo today. That's not bad at all. I don't think I've... Actually missed one yet, tempo-wise. Okay, 317-yard drive. 
How's that going to open the green up for us? 243, it certainly is. But I'm going to go with the 212 because 235, the one iron, that's just going to put it way past. Let's see which way. Everything's sort of coming down right to left here. So if we go with a 5 hybrid, just out to the right hand side of the green, hopefully it doesn't hit any of them trees. Oh, it's a slope. That's going to keep it out to the right. Now, is it actually going to reach the green here? Just reached the green. That is going to leave us one huge putt, though. There's a bit of pull to the left there and a slow downswing. That's me saying uh, I'm doing really well with my tempo today as well. I haven't hit a bad one. And then whether I do next shot, I hit a bad one. So everyone's going right to left. 50 feet, one inch up. Whoa, come on. Oh, that's not bad, is it? Oh, what a putt. <laughs> 50 foot putt. Get in there. I should save that one, shouldn't I? What do you reckon? 50 foot. Okay, hole eight. 169 yards. Par three. Stroke index 13. Yeah, let me just save that, guys. That putt. So I do like to do like a, a montage. Um, once I've got quite a few. Okay, toggle HUD. Yeah, that was a nice putt that was. Very nice. Okay, replay options. Let's save that. Favourite the replay. Confirm. And let's exit the replay. Sorry about that guys. Okay, hole eight, 169 yards, par three, stroke index 13. Okay, so we've got eight iron, 158. I'm actually gonna put a little bit of loft on this as well. Oh, that's a big pull to the left. Wow, I put a bit of loft on that and I dropped it down a club. There's only six mile an hour wind. It still went further than I thought. So that's going to leave us another tough putt. Okay, 21 feet, one inch up. Oh, I've missed that one. Totally misread that one. I should have actually zoomed over a little bit to have a look instead of just looking the way it was. Okay, hole nine, 435 yards. Par four, stroke index nine. Yeah, it's a, it's a really nice course, nice open. Very nice open course, some nice big fairways as well. I do quite like the pin placements as well. None of them have been really hard to get to. All right, what I'm gonna do is just put the audio back on, the commentary. Put it up a little touch because you've got Mr. Luke Elby talking a little bit. Just want to see if, there's, see if he sees, uh, sees anything different. Right, I think I should be able to smash the driver right over the top of that tree there. Yeah, that should be okay. There's Mr. Monotonous John. Okay, 321 yard drive. Right in the middle of the fairway. 114 to the pin. Should be good with the sand wedge with that wind. Okay, that's not too bad. Should leave a nice little putt for the birdie. Probably about 9, 10 feet. Yeah, 9 feet. Okay, it's got a tiny little turn there though. And we get the next, get another birdie. There's a clubhouse over that. And as he finishes up his front nine, uh, Luke, he's found himself in a pretty good place to be. Tied for the lead is a great position heading into the final nine holes, but this is when the tournament really heats up. A lot of golf left to play. Thanks Luke, and uh, let's get back down to the action on the 10th.
No, that wasn't really worth it, was it? <laughs> Let's turn the commentary back off. Uh, I mean, I used to like listening to John, but it's a bit boring and dull now, I think, after the third game. Same crap every every round. Oh, look at... No! Just as well I moved that over to the left-hand side there. Wow. That was a big pull. I'm not going to reach the green two now. Or should I say big push? So I'm just going to lay up here with the one iron. Where's the three wood? We wouldn't have reached the green anyway, I don't think, to be honest. Yeah, we'll just go with the one iron. That's not too bad. That's going to put it right up there for us. That'll leave us a pitch into the green. Okay, 63. So I'm actually going to put a bit of loft on that. Perfect, perfect. That's what you want. These little pitches. It's going to run up lovely. That leaves a nice little short putt. Probably about six foot for the birdie. Oh, bang on. Six foot. Oh, I thought, look at my putt and swing there. I thought I pulled that way to the left. Nearly missed that one. Okay, we are what? Nine under after ten. Wow, that's, that's some bloody good shooting that is. Rory McIlroy just come in. Hey, uh, same old Rory. <laughs> Only minus three after 18. Tyrrell Hatton, Ricky Fowler, minus five after 11. Sam Saunders, Brant Snedeker and Francesco Molinari. All you need is Tommy Fleetwood that. Molly Wood. <laughs> they, they must admit them guys did play well in the Ryder Cup. Oh, did you hear about that woman? Um, Kepka, the one she hit in the eye. Wow, her eye, hit her that hard in the face, in the eye, her eye actually exploded in the socket. Oh, jeez. Can you imagine that? <sighs> Nasty. She's thinking about suing the, um, the Ryder Cup. But that is, wow. No, fast. And pulled it. Oh, four. Smack right in the eyeball. Yeah, you th they should react a little bit, shouldn't they? Jump out of the way and stuff. Or hold the face. <laughs> That's not very nice. Okay, 146. To the pin, we've only 80 to 87%. So we're going to have to go up a couple of clubs here. Oh, come on, that was never a fast. No way did I hit a fast there. You can usually tell when you've hit a fast, and that did not feel like a fast to me. Game's lying to me. Okay, 16 yards. Two foot down. We're going to go with the sand wedge, I reckon. And as I say, I always usually pull these my shots to the right and my chip so I'm just going to move this a little bit to the left here oh no wow that's wow stop oh my goodness I think we're going to end up with a bogey here guys wow 28 yards I should have looked I bet that was on a downhill yep there it is look there's a slope right there damn okay 12 yards Yeah, that was a down slope. I should have looked more closely. Just wasn't concentrating on that at all. Yeah, you can see it there, look. Oh, I need you. Imagine not noticing that. <laughs> so that's a bogey, or is that a double? I think it's just a bogey. That drops us down to minus eight. Okay, 012, 165 yards, par 3, stroke index 18. It's a lovely little par 3. It's a beautiful looking course, I must admit. I like the way the cart path just goes all the way around there and you've got a little bridge either side of the, the hole there, the green. Okay, 162. Let's put a little bit of loft on that, shall we? Okay, 
Oh, I think I could have put more loft on it. Oh, it looks like there's a slope there that might run off. Oh, the wheels are starting to come off, guys. Stop, Bo. Stop. Oh, just got away with that. So it still leaves us with a putt. Okay, what have we got here? 26 feet, 5 inches up. It should not turn much. Oh, come on. Come on. No way. Look at that. <sighs> Blow it in. <laughs> Little tiny touch more on that, I think. I would have had that. Damn. Okay, hole 13, 394 yards, par 4, stroke index 14. I do you like these, these massive waste bunkers going all the way up the side of the fairway? Chat, I've never been to Florida. Always wanted to go. Yeah, do you know, um, I was actually made redundant about 20 years ago, and we got quite a lot of money from a redundancy. I was, um, I worked there for about 14 years, I think it was. And what we did, we saved up, well, with the redundancy money, we we're going to take the kids to Disneyland, Florida. And had it all booked, all the, the hotels and everything. And then I found out that I, I had an ASD, it's called atrial septum defect, which was a hole in my heart. And this was in my 30s. It's usually kids, they find out in the kids, but I never found out until I was in my 30s. We actually says to the, um, oh, what's, what are they called? The guy, the cardiologist, the main the main head honcho, said to him, look, we've got a holiday booked in a few months' time. And does this make any difference to like insurance and stuff like that? And he says, well, to be honest, you should cancel your holiday. I said, you might get on the plane, but with the pressure and airplanes and that, you might not, might not get back off it. <laughs> we had to cancel our bloody holiday. So uh, the kids missed out on going to Florida just because I had a hole in my heart. That's when I had them open heart surgery. Okay, what we got here? 128. Oh, I'm just going to put a bit of loft on this. I'm going to use the gap wedge because we need to go over this tree. There's that little crooked bit at the top of my swing there. See that? Oh, I thought that would have been a bit further, actually. Okay, this looks pretty straight. Oh, yes, we get it. Nice, nice birdie, that one. That's that back to minus nine, is that? Yep. Through 13, hole 14, 369 yards, par four, stroke index 10. Yeah, I think with the, the, the fairways and the color of the sand and all, it just really makes the course pop, doesn't it? Beautiful looking course. I think they've done a good job on this. I mean, I've, I don't think I've ever seen it on telly. I don't think I've ever watched a web.com to a championship or whatever, just to see how accurate it is. But, uh, with some of the other courses that they've done, yeah, they are pretty accurate. So I think they've done a good job. Okay, yeah, perfect, perfect. A little bit of a push to the pull to the left. That that's fine. Nice big fairway. Just over two hundred ninety yard drive, right in the middle of the fairway. It's going to leave us another seventy six yards. I think we'll go to the 72. I think that'll probably be about right, I reckon. So you're going to get the little skip forward as soon as it hits. Absolutely bang on. Sets us up for another nice little tap in for the birdie. Okay, hole 15, 168 yards, par 3, stroke index 16. Kind of sort of mid-sized par 3s, these. I don't think we've had one over 200 yards yet, I don't think, have we? These are the kind of par 3s I like, this sort of distance. I quite like the short par 3s as well, when you get them like, say, 110, 120 yards. Nice little, nice little par 3s. Okay, 168, we've got a 7 iron with a 169 carry on it. But that wind, I think... It should be okay. 
Oh, I thought I hit a slow with that. I actually felt like a slow. A little bit of a pull to the left, but it's not too bad. Distance wasn't too bad either. It's going to set us up for another little birdie putt. I mean, the greens are pretty tame, I think, to be honest. Pretty flash. Hole 16, 472 yards, par 4, stroke index 4. Okay, nice looking driving hole this one. It's through this little avenue of trees here. Very nice. Got a few bunkers there on the left hand side, but the size of these fairways it should not come into play. We're going to hit over the water for our second shot. Yeah, I would love to play in a course like that. Okay, it's going to push a little bit out to the right. Hopefully it's not going to go too far. Do not kick. Oh, that's okay. That's fine. Okay, pretty big drive. 325 yards. 148 to the pin. 99 nine will give us 145. I'm going to take a little bit off it because of the wind. Oh, that's going to be quite nice, I think. Is it going to stop? Come on. Oh, no, that's rolled on quite a bit. That was within eight iron as well. Wow. Yeah, I thought that was going to be nice. Mind you, it's four inches up, so it's actually, it was four inches down I hit it. So, yeah, it did run on a little bit. Oh, look at that. How close that was. <laughs> Just skimmed the edge of the, the right edge of the hole there. I was reading actually the Steam forums today, something I don't usually do because it's they're just so toxic. Uh, some of the guys actually complain about the putt and say it's the worst putt they've ever seen in a game of golf and how the hell are you supposed to judge it? You, you keep knocking it 25, 30 feet past the hole. Honestly, these guys are just so used to like the Tiger Woods game, power bars and things like that. A little bit of time on this putt and they'll uh, soon come to the, the same conclusions that a lot of us have in which this is probably the best putt in any golf game period. Oh, this is a beautiful looking hole. Look at that, all the way up there. Cracking hole. Tell you what, I wouldn't put it past them. Some of these kids with their little speed boats and that coming up here when they're, they're actually playing the golf. <laughs> Just putting them off. I've seen um, a couple of YouTube videos. I don't know if you've seen them. You see the old guys on the tees and all that. And they've got like a big air horn. They're in the trees. As soon as they go take their shot, it's like, <laughs> can you see them freaking out? And that's pretty funny. Okay, we can, we're going to reach the green here. We're going to go with the driver. Now, is this going to go right? Oh, this is this could be dodgy, though. No. Look at that. Perfect slow. Oh, that's going to work out okay, though. Wow. That's not bad at all. Oh, just thank goodness it didn't hit it fast. But as again, if you see the, the, the little blue box, it's not far off the mark where I hit the slow, so it actually kept it quite straight. If that was another couple of millimetres, then you would see it pulling to the right. Or if it was a fast, just a couple of millimetres off the, the box itself, it will pull to the left. Okay, this looks like it's going to turn quite a bit. 47 feet, one foot up. Come on. Oh, that's not bad. Distance wasn't too bad. Like I said, there you go, look. That's what another 40, 50 foot putt there. And I'm only a few feet away from the hole. Some of these guys just need to take their time, get on the practice green and learn the distances. If they can't see me putt a blooming ball without going 20 feet past the hole, you know what I mean? I mind you, I've been playing this since 2014, so it's, it's quite easy for me to say that. When I first started playing it, I thought the putting was really hard you just couldn't get it at all what gets me as well when a lot of these people um you probably do it some of you some of you guys probably do it yourselves is you just use like your feet and things like that to judge the putting distance the putting stroke 
I don't, I can't do that. I just pull back and push forward. It's just, um, it's weird how there's different sort of ways of doing it. Oh, this is beautiful over here. Look at all the tennis courts as well. Oh, look at that. It's like a hotel thing, is it? Pivot. Ah, it's really nice, isn't it? Yeah, that's got to be, that's got to be a bunch of hotels over here. Web.com to the championship. Unless that's the clubhouse. I can't see that being the clubhouse, is it? You think I was like hotels or something? That has done really nice. I do like that. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is a clubhouse because it did mention they had like a, a junior sized Olympic swimming pool. And there you go. You see the lines and that in the, in the pool there. Yeah, so that is the, the clubhouse. It must be. It was redone in um, 2015, if I remember right. And there's the, the sign there as well. Oh, this is, oh, look at this, way over here. What's this here? I do apologize for this, guys, but I just, that's a turtle. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah, that is nice. Right, where are we? Sorry about that, guys. I just went on a, a little wander there. It's just that that really caught my eye when you see the tennis court now up there. Beautiful. They've done a cracking job on this one. Okay, lovely drive right up there. Now, are we going to reach the green too? I reckon we will. Okay, 320 yard drive, 321. Okay, 215. We're going to drop it down to the, the five iron here, guys, because as I said, the, the greens are firm and faster. We're going to get a little bit of run up here. I'm actually down loftin' it just a little touch. Oh, look at that. It's a bit all over the place, wasn't it? That should run up lovely. Now, this is the hole that Jack Nicholas got his um, albatross or double eagle on. He's only ever won in uh, pro, in his pro, um, pro years. Okay, so this is the Atlantic Beach Country Club, guys, for the Web.com Tour Championship. Beautiful course, really enjoyed this. And we've got a little 11 foot putt for an eagle and I've screwed that right up. What a muppet. I just had to smash that in there and I would have had an eagle. But no, I babied it and it didn't even get the legs. So what do we end up in? Minus 13 after 18, Francesco Molinari, minus eight, Brant Snedekar, Luke List, Justin Thomas, Ricky Fowler, Rory Sabatini, and Sam Saunders coming up the back end there. So yeah, I really enjoyed that, guys. As I said, that's the Atlantic Beach Country Club. That's just dropped today with the new patch. Very nice course. Uh, so don't forget, guys, if you like the content, hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet and you wish to do so, it'd be very much appreciated. But as soon as you subscribe, there's a little notification bell there, guys. If you hit that every time I upload a video, you will be notified on YouTube. Or you can follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle will actually be in the description of the video. And every time I upload a video to YouTube, it actually will notify you on Twitter as well. So yeah, beautiful course. I really enjoyed that. I think that's one of the best ones I've got so far. So there we go. Your performance has earned you a place in the PGA Tour. Congratulations. So thanks for watching, guys. And I will catch you again next time.